Hello, welcome to part 7 of Civilization 4 playthrough set 4. Um, well, I'll just carry on showing you how the game basically works. I've just come to this island and it's already been settled, so I'm afraid these guys shift click to select more. We have to go back on the boat. Right click. Oh, left click. No. Hmm. Right click. Oh, they've they've done their movement. I can't move them yet. Okay, well, forget that for the moment. I'll just tell them to skip the turn for the moment. Right. And here's the boat that's going to skip its turn as well. I'm going to have to wait for them. My trusty galleon. I mean, maybe I can just have them settle here instead. An uninhabited island. Or oh, oh, here, there's some more oil. I could. It'll annoy the. Uh, the pink guys, the Vikings perhaps, but if I settle there I've got a bit of oil. Can't get the fish, but I think in the future oil is going to be an important strategic resource and the fewer bad, bad guys that have it, the better for me, because they'll either have to go to war with me to get it, or they won't go to war with me because they won't have decent weapons. Turn. I've got to think about increasing the culture growth in some of these cities and I need to build Buddhist stupa in Timbuktu so I'm thinking <coughs> maybe I should build some missionaries and just have this guy churn out some missionaries for a bit it's alt click to keep them going <coughs> And I can convert cities to Buddhism, <coughs> my own foreign cities, basically. <coughs> Built hermitage, is there anything else cultural I can build here to improve it? Not really. I should have a barracks at least, just not cultural exactly, but... Uh, yeah, it's, it's important. Some basics, that increase the food. Alright, now you guys, onto the boat please. And you have to go. The Vikings are gonna not like that, but I don't care about the Vikings. I'm not sure if is there a boat there already? Yes, no? A work boat uh, from Washington. Okay, I've got a little okay, it's advanced warships, but let's just quickly build a galleon and get these guys settling somewhere. Or was I going to settle them up north? Actually when I think about it, it's possible I was going to. Culture, culture, culture. Not really. Money then, because I'm probably going to start winding down the research so that I can start building culture in my main cities to help those guys to get a culture victory. So, was I going to go up here and settle in some of this snowy north? I think I might have been going to actually. There's some oil up there as well. I settle here, I get a bit of mountainous production work. Although the city's never going to grow, there's no food here, is it? So, actually, I can see it's showing me the production on these tiles, and there's nothing. That's right, isn't it? To turn them off. Oh, can't tell, but I'm pretty sure there's nothing there of any great usefulness, so I could just as easily settle here and get more maximum hammers out of this city, I suppose. Ooh, 
three. Let's just settle first before we do anything else. No, we can't do it this time. Oops. Gilgamesh has put settler there too. Can I settle? Doesn't look like it. I have to kind of have to wait, aren't I? That's annoying that there are other settlers there. Because I just moved, I can't settle. Let's have another look up here. Is there any productivity up here? Nope. So I'm right. I might as well go on here and at least get some hills. Maybe I can produce some houses or something. All right. Oh, barbarians killing my free warrior. Or not. Hooray! Do I need to build a temple, a Buddhist temple? Customs house then, money. Alright, you can come down here and join the next galleon. I've got a turn and Gilgamesh hasn't settled. I'm settling instead then. Theatre has plus three culture, but the madrasa here is plus four, however, it's expensive even for me. Hmm. Is that better? <coughs> yes, because I can spend gold to finish production. I mean, this gives me research and happiness, but this gives me the ability to use money and I get extra production from towns, which are the little villages which my workers build. Car systems, good for specialists. Emancipation. In the end, I have to have emancipation because you get a happiness penalty if you don't have it. Furthermore, it gives a penalty. If I've got it, it gives a penalty for other civilizations that don't have it. So let's go for it. Free market. Well, I'm still having my plus one free mess specialist per city. which I'm kind of liking, but maybe I would make more money and can compensate for it by building future culture things. So let's start evolving my sieve a bit more. What do we have here? State property, that can be good for a far-flung empire, but I don't really care about these islands too much. More money from windmills and stuff. More weapons, more health. More production, railroads, and some advanced shipping in the long run. Let's go for that, I suppose. The Statue of Liberty. All cities, one free specialist. And it costs six culture per turn. Is this the best city to grow up, build it in? I have another city that's desperate for culture. Let's build it in there. I'll just build a I can't, I can't build a Buddhist missionary here, I'll build a jail. Gross, I think.
He can get on the boat. The boat will have to wait. You can sit down for a bit. Uh, you can get on the boat as well. You can sit there waiting for a third one. Now, Timbuktu. If I look at the victory conditions for culture victory, Medina might get there sooner or later. Timbuktu is a long way off. I need to speed up the culture growth in Timbuktu. Can I build a Buddhist stupa yet? No, I've got 11 out of 12 temples built. But I could build the Statue of Liberty in 23 turns. Hmm. It'll double production speed with copper, so let's start the building work and I'll get some copper soon. <coughs> I don't think I've got any copper. If I look at or look at uh, trade resources, what do I have? I have one copper surplus. Ah, okay. So that 23 is double production speed. Crikey. Well, I want to boost this city, let's do it. No, I'm not going to war with anybody. If I can help it, it's a waste of money. Do you want to buy anything? You need some fish, maybe? No, rubbish, right. Alright. Much for me to build here, is there? Let's build a grenadier then. I need another Buddhist chappy, really, to make maximum use of the ship. Oh, wait a minute, I was talking about settling some more, wasn't I? I, I might, instead of building a grenadier, I might see what's up here. More iron, which I don't really need. More oil, which I really need. Should monopolize. So all right. I'll build a grenadier and a worker and a settler. Right. Shift click to put them at the end of the queue. I've run out of Buddhist mission Buddhist missionaries that I can build. I think it's based on how many you have active at the same time. You get a similar thing with spies. So he can go down and get on board the boat. Space two out of three, so put him on that one. And now, let's see. This is not a Buddhist city yet, is it? So let's send the boat over here first. Because then I can build a Buddhist temple, and then Timbuktu can get a big bonus by building a Buddhist stupa. Whatever that is. I've been wondering about that. Forbidden Palace reduces maintenance cost in nearby cities. I might as well build it. I think I build Palace of Versailles in that general area. Already.
Customs House and Harbour's kind of making money, basically. Washington keeps winning the votes for the Apostolic Palace. Hey, I built that thing. Vote for me. <clears throat> Ungrateful wretches. and why there instead of here I don't understand really I mean I want I might as well trade with the whale as well as, as these two honestly from there I still can't get the copper so settle here You can go home. You guys, any recommendations? No. <laughs> Settle in the hills then. Bukhara. Yeah. It's a Mongol city. Mate, you're going to run away immediately. No, no, that's good. <laughs> Hopefully, the boundaries will grow a bit, and then you can do the oil as well. Gin is not growing. Can I see why? Not enough food being produced. Seven percent chance of great artist eventually. Can I remove the engineer and get a citizen? Yeah, so I can plonk another citizen there and it'll grow a bit. And then maybe I can make a second artist out of this. prevail against archers on hills. I don't know if there are more places I could possibly settle. Uh, but let's get a Buddha and have him convert this city to Buddhism. Hooray! And then, can I now build a Buddhist temple? No, because Buddhist temple, yes, and I control click him to put him at the front of the queue. And I can spend money to build him straight away. Because I've got democracy. Another Buddha can leave the boat. We might as well go down here and just convert it anyway. Whee! 
and I might put a boat and head off to somewhere else. Might as well go here, I suppose, and convert them as well to Buddhas. Oh, this one can build a temple, but it's not so urgent, actually. I might as well, just in case there's some need for it, I guess. Oh. No sign of him there yet. Okay. Oh, he hasn't converted it yet. Okay. Not yet. I can build some more Buddhist missionaries. Put a stupor control click. Pull up the front of the queue. 50% extra culture, you see it says. And that's good. Because this place really has to grow, grow and I'm going to buy it immediately. Now we're getting some starvation here. engineer for goodness sake. Artist, thank you. Get rid of the priest and bring in the artist. We'll take away the artist. There's no more plate squares for me to work, so I might as well be another artist. Thank you. And once you build these, I think I might just go down to the bottom and just build culture. Which may be helpful, or if I'm, I may have to build what other one does to which the Kazils add culture usually. Some of them do anyway, those obviously don't. I mean, if I build another university somewhere, I could build Oxford University as well. Um, right. To water units? Well, I suppose it's relevant at the moment. Broadway. Plus 50% agriculture. Urgh. Yeah, but this city is already going to go over. It's. You know, I, I understand, but. 11 turns. It'll take forever in Timbuktu, won't it? In fact, no. Let's build it. Let's build a jail here. What the heck? And I'll go to Timbuktu and pop it in front of the Statue of Liberty, which is a oh, it's only taking twelve turns now. Hmm. Behind the statue of Liberty, then, I suppose. There we go. Mm -hmm. oh, it's the most powerful civilization in the world, and I've got. Swords been all over the place, it's ridiculous. Um constitution and replaceable parts. Well, okay. Anything else? 
Bloop, but train the grenadier. Now, how's this island? I might as well build a satellite. Oh, it's going to take quite a while, but it'll take ages for a ship to get down there anyway, won't it? So, build a settler then. Well, is it growing reasonably quickly? Yeah, okay, build a settler. Oh, let it grow first, then build a settler. First, build a musket man. Help it along a bit. If I were to build a madrasa, it'll push the culture out a bit more. Because it does culture and culture expands your boundaries at the expense of any neighbours, ideally. Oh, writings to the library. Address the plus one knowledge, or a bit more research towards refrigeration. Well, let's just have general knowledge improvement. Right. Culture. Right. Build culture for now. Start getting some money. Didn't I? Didn't I fix the uh, the food problem in Gen previously? It's still not growing. Let's get some basics in place, shall we? The workers for our electric companies are so happy and well motivated they repair damage lines quickly, no matter what the conditions. Hooray! Plus one happiness in all cities. I don't think I can work the oil yet, I need combustion for that, but I'm getting there. Getting there. Um, right. So, Oxford University is buildable now. What does that do? Plus four culture is not as good as the other two that I'm building. I would put Galway first, but this is already half built. Um, 
might have to build it because I've already got two national wonders in this city, I think. So I could build it in one of my other cities. And the city to look at is this one, which hasn't made its legendary status yet. I think Medina. It's getting there. But let's see if I can build Oxford University here. No. Hmm. Can I build it in here? Nope. Okay. I do have a university here. I presume it has to be a university city, does it? Yeah. Hmm. You can see what you've got here. Well, okay. Well, maybe I do actually have to build it here where I suggested it. Stick it at the front of the queue and just build it. And that's it for part seven. See you in part eight.